All right. So yesterday we got this thing teleoperating, and I just want to start by doing that again. And just remind you, you know, first step is you got to set the permissions on those ports with chmod. Uh, you might have to, I haven't had to redo the IDs or baud rates, but I've had to recalibrate um, a number of times. So you'll, you'll get good at that. That said, um, we'll just run this. I've already got the command in with the right IDs and everything, but here we go. Run that. And we're up and running already. I hope this layout's better. I noticed that the code was pretty hard to read unless you had it in max quality on YouTube. So here we go. I hope the audio is better too. I was having some trouble. There we go. All right. You can teleoperate just fine now. When with that working, I believe the next step is to go ahead and collect the data set. Well, let's, let's see. Cancel this process. We'll cancel this process. And I'm going to move my mic a little bit here. All right. Hopefully that's a little better. So, so what's next? We just did this teleoperation operation step. And it's nice to know it will, if it's having some trouble with some calibrations, if you haven't calibrated one of them or if there's just something wrong there, it'll just have you recalibrate on the fly. Oh, so the next step is we have to add um, add cameras. So let's follow the camera guide next. To instantiate a camera, you need a camera identifier. Oh, okay. Let's see. We'll run this script and see what it says. Oh, open CV or RealSense for Intel RealSense cameras. Um, well, hopefully, I, you know, I've got this nice camera above. Hi. And let's see if I can find that. I'm just going to like clear this. I've got this funny graphics bug where. Um, no such file. Oh, I know why. I moved into that lay robot folder, so it's not finding the file. So it found, what are they? Um, okay. Got video zero, uh, video two. I should have a, another camera in my drawer here. Let's actually hook up another camera. Let's see if I can find it. It's buried in my drawer of extra stuff. Here we go. <clears throat> right here, this is just a regular webcam. I thought it would be good to try to use that too to get like a side view. Most people I see are using an overhead camera and a side view camera. And just turn. I see. Hmm. How are we going to do this? I think we'll just get it plugged in first and just see kind of what we've got going on. If it detects it now that I plug it in, that'd be convenient. Probably does. Okay, it's plugged in. Three cameras. So back in the API is the same. 
resolution is the same. We've got video zero, video two, and video six for the IDs. And that's it. So I really can't tell which camera is which. Let's see what happens. Um, so below are two examples of demonstrating how to work with the API. Oh, okay. Use your phone. Oh, I see. So I, I don't need to know any more than that. So I just wish I knew. Oh, I know what I can do. Do I want to do that? I'm going to turn off my. So I know that this webcam is which one? I had video two, video zero and video two. You know, I'm just going to make a wild guess that video zero is the integrated webcam and that video two is this overhead camera right here. So let's just figure that's the case. And so with rerun, you can tell it right again with, while simultaneously visualizing the camera feeds in joint positions. So let's just try that, I guess. We're going to have to tweak this code a little bit, but that should be OK. So I'm going to set the camera off to the side here, My uh, this webcam. You can probably just see it just in the frame. We'll see how it looks. And we'll copy this code and paste it in here. And then we'll make some changes. And actually, just curious. Oh, OK. I'm just going to open up like a notepad or something here. Oh gosh. And uh, let's uh, let's paste this. Com I lost it. I should probably use VS Code or something. And I I'm new to so much command line work, and so I don't really under know. And I should just figure something out, but I haven't found a great way to to save all these commands. I should probably just create some kind of a file somewhere, right? Um, but that's that's our this was a, just our standard teleoperate command, and then here is the new one. And they're using these slashes so they can have like you know line continuation. So let's do that too. And you know, that to me is a hint that they're using an editor or something. Because to be honest, these commands are all pretty long for doing them for doing them by hand in the command line. Oops, I forgot a slash. Almost there. Right, so. Oops. Let's just walk through command by command, or like argument by argument. We're going to run until they operate. Um, that's the arm type. It's kind of cool because you could really set up whatever you want as a leader and whatever you want as a follower. You can mix and match, I guess. Um, there's a robot port. The robot ID, that's the same. Now we add these cameras and then we'll set up the leader. And then we also say this has argument display data equals true. So I'm just going to... Uh, 
I'm just going to steal this camera line and insert it right here. Oh, that was a tab. Okay. And then I'm also going to do this one. Display data equals true. All right. So that's good. I think, though, Oh, I see. Robot deck cameras. Front. Interesting. I don't know what what my options are here. Data set upload. Oh dear. Well, let's just see if we can get the cameras working next. And then after that, I create credentials. Okay, well, that doesn't look too bad. I just need to have a hugging face token. And these are always a little tricky because I'm not supposed to share that with everybody. So I'll probably run that line by myself. But let's just say, I wonder what my options are for cameras, you know? I mean, I'm just going to say, like, top... This just looks like JSON to me. Um, they're open CV cameras. Index or path. I mean, I guess it's, uh, oh, they gave a sample output from the, Right. Oh, here's this guide. ID colon zero. Oh, okay, so we just put the full ID. This is a little simplified there. So under index or path, uh, we're going to put this ID right here. It looks like. And then, right there. And the width is 640 by 360. Sure. Frame per second, 30. Let's just run it with that and see what it gives us. Okay, wrong camera, but it's working. That's oh, interesting. That's like the depth built-in depth camera from my laptop is what it looks like. But let's just see. But teleop is working. Let's change the camera argument. Um, OK, 
Okay. All right. Okay. That one's my second webcam. So like my webcam has the depth camera and it has the RGB camera. Okay, we're getting there, I guess. Well, this is kind of weird because let's see if we can get to uh, find cameras. It looks like it's not identifying my overhead camera. So let's let's see what video six looks like. And okay, yeah, this is what I expected. Hey guys, so that's my webcam. And my fancy cam is not being recognized. Let's see, now I can start to like. And it's getting these observations just from. You know what? I'm going to want to leave this one out of the view, aren't I? So this is not, I got some work to do. But first among those is I've got to get another camera that will be detected by this uh, system. So this is working. I just don't have a camera that just likes, which is interesting. Just look at this. Does it actually have? You know, oh, I know what it's doing. So it's, it looks like these observations are probably from the actual, you know, from the encoders on the motors. That's my, because they look too good especially where you can't see the follower in my view. And so that those are the data sets we're recording. I see. So what we're going to do is, well, next step is I need, a, I need an overhead camera that, that OpenCV will work with. And this DSLR I'm using for the overhead is too much. So I'll get one and we'll come back. I think I'll do that. I'll have, I will do that tomorrow. Gonna carry on. So we've got the cameras working now. And I need a, a second view. I'll, I'll fiddle with this one too. Like it really seems like you want it to be some view that can't see the the, the leader, right? Got some work to do on this, which really seems like this view would be nice. But I think we'll kind of flip this around, kind of like come at this angle, move my mouse out of the way. Yeah, I think that'll be a good view. You could, oh, I haven't bumped the cable with my leader. Because now I can, let's see if I get into the shot at all. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, well, until tomorrow when I have a new camera, I hope you guys are getting your own SL101s and getting ready for the hackathon yourselves. We'll see you then.